welcome to The Near Memo, a weekly conversation about search, social, and commerce. What happened, why it matters, and the implications for local. But uh, let's move on to to the uh, two surveys that we talked about earlier, or that I mentioned earlier, one from CallRail and the other one, um, a technical SEO survey that I'm going to talk about. But David first is going to to talk about some of the surprising findings from the call rail survey, which focused primarily on larger agencies. So David, tell us what, sure. what that was. There's about. a lot of, as you said, Greg, there's a lot of interesting t- um, data and takeaways from the call rail survey. Um, many actually reinforced our as yet unpublished data from the UpCity agency survey or the agency survey we worked with UpCity on uh, last year um, in terms of the, ser- the services that agencies are looking to add in 2023 to achieve their goals, whether that's grow revenue or or increase margin on existing clients, whatever the, those goals are. There's a lot of interesting takeaways in the call rail survey. So we do recommend that everybody go and, and download a copy of it. Um, there's almost too much to discuss on a, a podcast as brief as this one. So I'll just zero in on one really surprising uh, page in the PDF that, that you highlighted in the newsletter this week, Greg, which is the top four predicted fads for 2023 uh, versus the the long term trends, and again, the the audience here is larger agencies whom you would think have a pretty good are sort so, of are sophisticated. Sophisticated. Very sophisticated. Right, these are not these are not folks who just aren't up on the latest trends or whatever. Um, generally speaking, these are folks who should have a lot of very large clients and a lot of experience across a whole range of. Of discipline. So the top four fads as rated by these agencies were AI, 67%, localized SEO and automation, two separate d- disciplines tied at 52%, and zero click searches tied at, at just below that at 51%. And from where I sit, all four of those are major, very long term trends that agencies absolutely need to be paying attention to. And if they're not, they are doing their clients a massive disservice and could lose business as a result of ignoring and those four very significant trends. Con- conversely, I just want to throw in that the that the long term uh, trends that they felt were really important to invest in um, was number one was metaverse marketing, yeah, and then customer communities, which makes sense, and then strangely, voice search voice was number search three, a long term trend, right? Yeah, which is which is yeah. which is certainly an important. Uh, use case, but but the the time of the piping of voice search has has long passed. So that's yeah. very bizarre, very very bizarre. I mean, especially the AI finding that almost seventy so, percent thought it was a fad. That's very strange. Go ahead. Very strange. And so I would say there's two with, even within the AI piece. You know, there's two sort of branches of that tree in my mind. One is the AI that you could as an agency leverage for better performance or more efficiency or uh, uh, fill in the blank in terms of what the benefits might better analysis of your own client data. There's all the whole range of things that you could be applying AI to within your own business. We've seen just in the last couple of weeks, you know, an explosion in the apps that are sort of building on the chat GPT sort of model and, you know, self-generating videos and self-generating uh as we talked about last week, audio files. I mean, there's a whole voiceovers. There's a whole range of, of really cool applications that in my mind sort of democratize. Review responses. It. Review responses. Right. Review, review I, well, responses. So that's more of a functional thing. I was, I was going to get at there, there's a whole range of AI applications for democratizing the creative process, which a lot of agencies get hired for and right. making that much faster and iterating much faster than you might with a just a human uh, component. So I think there's that piece of it. Mike, to your point, maybe there's functional del- client deliverables that you could be doing more efficiently through AI. So that's that's AI that could be implemented within your own business as a trend that you should be paying attention to. The second piece of it is there's a whole range of things related to AI that are going to get forced on you as an agency. We're seeing Google me- basically move all AdWords into Performance Max, yeah. which is 100% AI machine learning driven. And if you're not aware of that, and if you if you think that Google is going to just like kick performance max to the curb like they've kicked so many products 
to the curb. I mean, it would take this is this is a Google Plus level of investment from Google uh, into this ad product, and I just don't see it going away uh, anytime soon. So I don't think AI is a fad. Oh, Google moderation is AI, and that's not going away because right. it's super exactly. cheap for them. Yeah. Gives them a yeah. huge so, advantage. Like, so that's not changing anytime soon. A lot of the automation stuff is kind of tied into that, so I won't sort of dive into that as as one of the fads. The, the other two, localized SEO and zero click searches. I mean, localized SEO. If you're not doing it, okay, that's fine. But searches have been localized at a somewhere between thirty and forty percent clip for the last decade plus. And so, if you're not aware of that fact, like you're losing business for your clients, and you may potentially be losing business uh, in terms of the number of clients who would hire you. So, I think it was I the Venice update in Ven- 2012. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and 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 actual user behavior is higher than what Google reflects in its in its SERP. Also, I mean, right. just basically survey data and everything that we know cumulatively from the last twenty years is that people are looking for things in their local area at a high high level of frequency, and their their that stuff is perceived to be more relevant, and people are you know more inclined to take action, and so on and so forth. So that's just a really strange finding. Thanks for joining David, Mike, and Greg. To stay on top of the latest developments in local, subscribe to our newsletter at nearmedia.co. We'll see you next week.